She came clean to an affair she was having, and she wanted to be with him. Two days ago, I get a random message from her. She doesn't know if she still loves me, and she wishes none of this happened. what's going on everybody hope everybody's feeling good hope everybody's doing well we are back with another story post guys i'll put this up on the screen if you want to check it out but you guys read the title let's just get into it so talk about marriage.com ex-wife left and now wants to come back oh man Hello all, so let me give you some background as to what's going on as I made a previous post a while ago about this situation. My ex-wife and I were together almost nine years this past January. She came clean to an affair she was having and she wanted to be with him but couldn't afford our three kids. So in March we filed for divorce and she wanted out so fast. Our divorce was finalized in five days. Whoa. Leaving me everything. The house, kids, pension, etc. She left the day after our divorce was final and moved in with the new guy. I was a mess. Total mess. I'm still getting a grip from it. So, two days ago, I get a random message from her asking if she could come over and at night so we could talk we did she's hot and cold about wanting to come back she doesn't know if she still loves me and she wishes none of this happened then today i saw her and we talked a little she seemed so uninterested kept telling me she has to go and if i keep bringing it up i'm going to push her away here's my question after she left, did this damage to me and our kids, why do I feel like I'm the one giving her explanations to everything? I told her I'm no longer going to bring it up. I never brought up me and her before and only did when she mentioned it. Why is she so hot and cold? And the more important question, should I attempt to get back with her or just let it be? Oh no, Jeremy, man. A part of me wants to, just because I'm so lonely at home. Just me and the kids. I'm at this stage where I doubt I'll ever find love again. I'm 25. Three kids. Make a great living and all. But who wants a man that young with such baggage? But she walked away from it all for a man who is a loser and about 11 years older than me. What do I do? I'm tired of the head games she plays. Wow, let me give my thoughts. Oh, man. You're allowing this woman to have so much control over you. When she called you and said she wanted to come over and hang out, she had just got in an argument with her new loser boyfriend. She could have found him cheating or she figured like, well... He's not as successful as my ex-husband, yada, 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 whatever it was. She was upset with her new boo. So she ran back to you. And the mistake you made, welcoming her back with open arms. She ran back to you because she's familiar with you and you're better than him. But once she ran into your arms, he actually started to regret going back to you. I don't know if I want this. This is where the hot and cold comes from. She, she's not that excited with the new guy, but she went back to you, but it's like, what? Well, you're not exactly what I want. You know you're not plan A at all. So why would you even give her the time of the day? And you said, because you're lonely. So you are 25 
And I get it. You got three kids to look over. You probably, you don't have time. She is not what you need though. It's not her you need. I promise you she is not the one. She gets back with you. She's going to go back and forth to her new guy until she finds something better because either of you are actually are plan, plan A. Neither, neither one of you are plan A. So she's using both. She's jumping back and forth between both. Not worth it. Don't let this woman destroy you even more. You, lucky you, you got out pretty quick. Most people I hear talking about divorce, they say, well, I have to wait a year or it took I've heard multiple years to get a divorce. Crazy. You got out of divorce in five days and got everything. Let her go. She's gone. She's dead to you. She left. She abandoned her family. She gave up her family for this guy that she doesn't even like. Come on, man. Let's check out the comments. One eighty, learn it, implement it. You can't make her do a thing. If you're smart, you'll cut off all contact, get strong, or continue to live as you are. The only one keeping yourself in this is you. I would not give in to her. She messed up. You are so young that you will find love again. Concentrate on you and the kids and you will be and you will be just fine. OMG, you are only 25 and have a wife that cheated and left you and, and you want her back? And you think no woman would want a man with a steady job and three kids? I'll just tell you straight out of compassion. You shouldn't speak to that woman again, ever. If I was your best friend, I'd deck you every time you mentioned her name. Seriously. No woman will want you. That's just stupid. I'm bald, 45, have three kids, very average job. Lots of nice looking young whatever else you want women were glad to date me. I now have a wonderful wife. You are really acting like a darn fool, even considering letting your wife return. She is bad, cruel, selfish person. You need some help to get over that. You must for your kid's sake. You are better off being alone. When someone is hot and cold for you, they are actually not. They're just cold. Because she is cruel, selfish, just plain bad person, I know it's hard to get over this, but you must. You must figure out why you are willing to put up with someone so cruel because your kids need you to be strong. So it's not all rainbows and candy canes in a fair land. Sounds like she's testing for a plan B. She'll trade you in again when a newer, sleeker model comes along again. Start the 180. Have you been to therapy or counseling? You, you seem very down on yourself. You beat cancer with darn little repercussions and now a dirty bomb is trying to be delivered to your living room? Oh, wow. He, must, he, did, he did mention he had a previous post. So he beat cancer. See her for what she is, just your children's mother and nothing else. I'm not excusing her behavior, but she lost attraction for you and is still not attracted. The other man, though he is scum, might be more confident. Work on yourself, my friend. Read. Read no more Mr. Nice Guy for starters. So it sounds like he, he went through cancer and everything. Dang, she's grimy and she cheats on him. Wow, and then she has the nerve to come back. Yeah, man, you're better than that. You're better than that, man. You don't. She doesn't deserve you. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. I will catch you guys at the next one. Reddit support for Waywards. Hi, y'all. I'm about a week out from D-Day of my boyfriend, 26 year old male, finding out I, 25 year old female, cheated both physically and emotionally. Our relationship for years had been very broken for a while, with him being completely emotionally shut off and neglectful 
for a long time while I begged him to be emotionally available and connect with me. Sometimes to the point of being toxic in my attempts. He then gaslighted me for about a year that he was emotionally neglecting me to the point where I stopped believing myself that it was happening. I was on a study abroad and it felt really good to have someone who did care about me and show interest, not just sexual, but at a really low mental health state. Some, someone who cared and showed me emotional support when my boyfriend had not done that in a long time. My boyfriend found proof and confronted me, which I then came clean about it and have been going back and forth for a few days via email, text, phone, since I am still abroad. He is coming tomorrow to see me because of our previously plan planned trip, and I'll be coming home for real in about 10 days. My biggest issue right now is that I am holding myself accountable, taking, ste taking steps to change and fill in all his needs. But because of my coping skills, cheating, that I use to cope with feeling emotionally neglected, my hurt and anger is not being addressed at all, and I am not receiving any love or support. So really the same thing that caused me to pull away and then cheat is being doubled down on. He says it's just for now while he processes, but it's really, really tough and raw for me. To sum everything up, feeling raw from gaslighting and emotional neglect that led me to cheating, but trying not to be angry about still being emotionally neglected while we heal. Any tips or support are welcome. And she has an edit here. I know that cheating was not a solution and was not an answer to the problems we were having. It was my crappy coping skill to deal with all the, all of the factors going on. It goes without saying that I know that cheating was an extreme violation of trust and was not the proper response to coping with my feelings. And I am not blaming him for causing my cheating, just stating that the situation of emotional neglect within our relationship caused me to feel distanced. Wow, let me give my thoughts. She's saying, oh, I know I'm wrong. I take responsibility. But I cheated because he wasn't showing me any emotional support. And I still am troubled by him not showing me that support. That, accept, just accept accountability. If you really, really want to reconcile and you don't, you don't want to reconcile. He found out about your cheating, which is why you, you're going through this panic mode. Like, Oh, I'm sorry. I really miss you. I'm sorry. Let's work it out. No, you feel like he gave you a reason to cheat on him. So you cheated point blank period. Just say it. You just cheated because you wanted to cheat. You went to another country. You say you studied abroad. You were with someone, someone else who was giving you attention. You tried to, in the beginning, you tried to tell us, oh, he neglects me, and he he even said I'm neglecting you emotionally. Why don't you just break up with him then? Why would you stay, why would you stay somewhere you're unhappy? You're not happy in that situation. Why would you stay just to cheat on him? Is that your payback? I'll show you not to show me any emotions, and you sleep with somebody else. Does that make any kind of sense? I would love to hear his side of the story. I really would. <laughs> you know, like I were, I got a feeling he would say, I never said that. I never was happy about emotionally neglecting you. What are you talking about? I thought we were good. He probably thinks the relationship is great and she's not saying anything because a lot of times they won't say anything and they'll go cheat. You catch them cheating. Oh, well, you stopped doing this for me. So this is why I did it. Uh, what? You never said anything about this because they deep down inside, they really just wanted to cheat. Oh, man. Let's check out these comments here. One says, I know that my wayward spouse didn't get any support or empathy from me in the months following D-Day. He actually went to his AP 
commiserate, which I found out about, and then I left. No contact means no contact, even if I wasn't offering much empathy at the time. We were basically roommates for years, dealing with the domestic drudgery and living individual lives that led to our marriage breakdown. I thought he just wasn't into me, but having kids and businesses, we trudged along. It took about a year and him never giving up on us. It took me realizing my part in the train wreck of our marriage to understand that I too could have lost it all. Here's OP. This is such a perfect comment and I'm really thankful for this. I think that's the hard part. is just realizing that the thing I was afraid of all along continuing to exist is exactly what I have now caused for myself and that I just have to accept that and be patient. He probably can't be your emotional support while he's dealing with his own stuff. Do you have a friend you can lean on? The F your feelings crowd will say that your feelings don't matter, but whether you move forward alone or in reconciliation, you're going to need to start healing and getting to the bottom of why you did what you did. Look, man, she is probably, let's just say what she's saying is true. He was really distant. If this is your guy, your man, your someone you love, why are you not trying to figure out what's wrong with him? He could be going through depression. You know, is he having trouble at work? Like, you don't care. You're just saying, I have needs. You're not giving me my needs. So I'm going to go to another country and sleep with someone else. Like, that's really selfish of you. You know? If it was vice versa, if you're down, it's just something different about you. You know, emotionally, emotionally, you're not there anymore. He would need to find out what's wrong with you. What's going on? Are you okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's not that hard. People get in relationships and you, you, you try to find a reason to cheat. Well, I cheated because he wasn't emotionally there. Why was he not emotionally there? Talk to him. Get to the bottom of it or leave. Say, look, okay, if you're not going to tell me, we got to break up. I can't I can't do this type of relationship. But don't stick around and say I'm going to I'm going to get you to pay attention to me, pay attention to me by cheating on you. Like come on, like it's childish and stupid. And here's OP. Yeah, I think it's not necessarily even that I need emotional support with this specifically, but I have been feeling emotionally neglected for a while which he has admitted and owned up to about being very emotionally distant because of his own emotional and mental health issues. Oh, there we go. So that's mostly what I'm struggling with. Like that this emotional coldness feels, feels like just a continuation of what was happening before with just a lot of shame and guilt and anger at myself. So, so if he's going through mental health issues, are you helping him get help for that? And if he's like, no, I don't need help and he's pushing you away, you have to just end the relationship. If he has mental issues, you think cheating on him and hurting him further is going to help his mental state? That's really, that's, that's some evil stuff to do. If, really think about that. That's evil. He has mental issues, which is why he he's not giving me what I want. So I'm going to cheat on him and hurt him even, even further. It's like, how dare you not give me what I want? I don't care what you're going through. You need to give me what I want. Oh, no, I'm going to hurt you. Man, they cut deep. They cut deep. Oh, man. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. I'll catch you guys at the next one.